guys we will see what is network virtualization so pptas are same whether this ppt or that ppt whatever it is this is from microsoft <laughs> network virtualization allows isolation of multiple net virtual networks on a physical network so that is one state <coughs> meaning is you can see a, a line there is a number of switches and number of servers some blue network red network okay so internal one is like a the blue and red kind of stuff there are created okay just for a, a differentiating purpose only okay so i will explain so the statements are a statements only but uh, understanding is very important server virtualization runs multiple virtual servers on a physical server that is server virtualization point but this is network virtualization how it is we'll see here also see virtualization physical server this is a two virtual machines this is two virtual machines in a single physical server okay and also you can go through this network virtualization another ppt is a nothing but a, a virtually pooling and managing all available network resources such as ip switches routers nics vlan tags etc via means of tools such as a routing table in real time and each channel is dependency secure and distinct from one another example virtual private network allow you to create a virtual network over the internet with without the use of actual wires or physical hardware okay network virtualization can be categorized into internal and another one is external lot of statements are there guys but we should understand what is the difference between and all this is if you read it you will get the only line not understanding not un read it. just if i i read it but it will take like a time so again you have to read it understand the point create an example and we can follow it then only we can able to understand but what are the statement of it look at here guys when it is a comes to virtualization i told <coughs> this thing that thing is there okay so but here it is look here when it comes to virtual network virtualization means virtualization related to the network point is virtualization related to the network network virtualization is what are the virtualization thing are related to the network that's we have to speak about virtual nics virtual nics or ethernet virtual switches you are already seen virtual switches we switches in a v sphere right so like that virtual switches virtual routers virtual routers nic teaming this is also comes under uh, virtualization nic teaming means group of physical nics become single physical nic Sing sorry group of physical nics become single um uh, team team okay nic teaming uh, nic virtual nics virtual routers uh, vpn virtual private network virtual private network vlan virtual lan okay vtp is also word vtp is there virtual trunk protocol guys vlan trunking protocol so that's we we don't we don't so v vlan virtual lan okay these are all uh, uh, also come uh, comes under virtualization of network virtualization virtualization related to network part network part so, uh, so internal dns kind of stuff for uh, anything routing uh, sdn 
SDN software defined networks concepts. These are all network virtualization. Of course, there is a certain software also there from VMware. OK, so uh, uh, how to manage uh, network virtualization concepts also there. OK, software is also there. Uh, there is some idea. We don't use it generally, so that's why I don't use it. OK, so the concept of this network virtualization is guys. Remember always in a virtualization without a physical. Without anything, anything is must be exist in the physical. Without a physical resources, you cannot create a, any virtual representations. OK, without a physical, there is no virtual. OK, some people say like a virtual is a imaginary. Virtual is not imaginary because virtual machines is not imaginary, right? We are using a virtual machine. It's a software defined. It use or utilize your hardware resources, physical resources. So without a physical, there is no virtual. OK, always keep it that mind in the virtualization. Next, OK, few points I will tell, but this point again I will repeat just for understanding virtualization. Guys, this is my physical server. I have a virtual machine. Just one shot explanation. I will try again. I will explain in the Hyper-V wise. These are a. Two virtual machines are there. OK, so last time we created a two virtual machines. One is server. One is a Win server. Another is a Windows client. We want to make a communication between these two servers. What we created, we connected to VMNet one. We are connected to VMNet one just for a in VMware, right? It is a completely private network, host only network. Host only network. So these uh, two machines can communicate each other. Because we are connected to. This is VMNet one. OK, what we know that is I'm trying to say it is a private network. The machines are connected to this VMNet one. They can communicate each other. They can communicate each other. They can't communicate other machines if they are not connected to VMNet one. It's like a their own private network. See this. I'm in my home. I have a switch. I have my own switch. Think about it. Physical switch. OK. I have a switch or a hub. Something. OK, I have a switch like this. I purchase a switch. I have a five computers. I connected five computers to a switch like a star topology. Five computers can communicate each other, right? But these five computers not communicated to any other network. How? Why? Because of. They are connected. They created one simple LAN and there is no. So uh, again, connection is not there, right? Very simple. These machines are connected to a switch and become a one single LAN network. So this is entirely one network. I have similarly another network is there. Another switch is there. These switches are not connected. There is no connection between these things. Obviously, this is separate LAN. That is separate LAN. OK, simple private LAN. Similarly, similarly, I have a virtual machines. I have a virtual machine. I have a virtual switch. I connected to my virtual switch. The virtual switch is not a business with uh, anyone. Obviously, not a connection, no bridging to any thing. Meaning is. It is a private network. So like this. Another example. I have a virtual machine. I have another virtual machine just for understanding. 
I have a an IC. You know, when we use Linux, okay, that time I said connected to VM net zero, right? So like a VM net. I am talking in a VM virtual kind of stuff, okay. Means VMware kind of stuff, right? VM net zero, virtual machine uh, three, virtual machine four. Okay, so here it is. I have a physical NIC. I have my physical NIC is there. And there is a bridging between this physical NIC to VMNet zero. So these virtual machines can communicate each other and also communicate it to outside of the physical network because of this bridging. So this is an example of internal network. In a PPT, there is a internal network is there now. It is internal. Yeah, yeah yellow color is not attractive. Okay. So we'll take uh, black only or blue or anything you can take it. So this is the internal communication. This is external. OK, so this is a one way of telling virtual network virtualization. But guys, see it is it is a single physical NIC. One single NIC, how many machines we can connect? The reverse order also understand one NIC one connection how many physical machines you can connect one only right but here it is i can connect multiple virtual machines through virtual switch to by bridging into physical nic means one physical nic one physical nic as a connection to physical network but multiple virtual machines can communicate over single physical NIC. Over single physical NIC. So you look at it again, I am right typing. This is a virtual machine. This is a virtual machine. This is the virtual machine. This is the virtual machines. Okay. So this is my physical LAN network. Okay. This is a physical LAN network. So I, I open up. So I don't close with uh, any physical machine. Just OK, so I open up everything like this. So what it will happen? These are all can be able to communicate. Through a bridge. Using a bridge. Like a VM net zero kind of bridge. Or external switch. So I'm writing for our understanding VM net zero. Later I will change the name. You're all connected. All these virtual machines. Or a single physical NIC. This is a my physical NIC. For single physical NIC, all these virtual machines can able to communicate for single NIC. So this is simply understanding of network virtualization. Means one single NIC, NIC is a single, but virtual machines are multiple. Each virtual machine will get an IP address, different IP address means same network, maybe same network, but different IP address, right? So like host one, host two, like this one, uh, 192.168.10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, 10.5, like this. We'll get a different IP addresses. Okay, but all these virtual machines are communicating through single NIC only. Single NIC only. Look at this single NIC. Okay, guys, understand network virtualization point number one.
this is for understanding i am giving a statement the same statement i am writing multiple virtual machines and communicate over single physical and i see okay multiple virtual machines can communicate over i see by acting exactly say bridging to physical so this is simple one point one point there's another point also there yes yes understand this point or not understand sir okay so diagrammatically don't have a space what to do yeah one 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 more point only i will tell that is a nic teaming okay this is one single nic just for example i have a server i have a server just uh, we don't have a space that's why i am writing on this one only i have a server no 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 i'll remove this one can we reduce it smaller small size yeah, keep it like a tree a side <laughs> so i have a server or a machine something i have a, a an ic not one an ic so in my server i attach multiple an ic okay so for example here i have a four an ic are there so this is my an ic 1 an ic 2 and i see 3 and i see 4 totally four and i see sir there totally four and i see sir there so before going to four and i see i will come to one single and i see part okay for example guys okay for uh, i will i will i will tell about this one later but this is i have an i see no problem no problem so we have nic here right so we'll take it this nic and as example think like this guys you are a web server you are a a web server you are a some web server you have a nic and you are connected to network you have a nic you are connected to network here is a client here is a client this is a client this is the client accessing my website accessing my website understand guys i have a web server i have a client client accessing web server client accessing web server Yes, understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, actually, uh, yesterday I want to tell today about uh, uh, failover kind of stuff. Now we don't go. We'll go later, not now. Okay. Simple. There is a simple question. What it is? What if this network adapter is down? Server is okay, but a nice connection is diff. connection or maybe nic device nic is a physical device right so whether nic is damaged or maybe connection is damaged or connection is disconnected what will happen what will happen guys i have a server right 
I have a server. My server NAC is damaged. My server NAC is got damaged. What to do? What happens? What will happen? My server NAC is disconnected. What will happen? What client will get it? What happened, guys? Yeah, people gonna. Very good. That is not a big deal. So only two members are left. Eight members are there. But I ask one simple question. You have a server. Your NAC is damaged. I'm the client. I'm accessing your website. Your NAC is damaged. Are right? Disconnected. Wire is disconnected. What I will get it? What what will happen to me? What do you mean? Sir. 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 It Tell may close network problem or sharing data problem. Very good. Well, see, it tells some guess some answers, guys. No problem. Right or wrong, I will tell later. You can keep talking already morning one hour almost like uh, more than uh, half an hour not one hour more than half an hour i told only one story that is keep talking keep telling keep create your own answers different ways right or wrong later guys i tell only one formula in interview only one formula interviewer will ask a question you should give an answer that's the only thing I'm not talking about right answer, wrong answer, this answer, that answer. I'm talking about interior asking a question. You should give an answer. Same thing here. Practice with me. Start giving, start understanding. Wrong or right, later we can see. What happened if there is a server? NIC is damaged or it disconnected. Server NIC is damaged. Server is disconnected. NIC is disconnected. The wire is disconnected. You are a client. You are accessing a website from the web server. You are open a Google.com. Google.com server is server is disconnected. What we will get it? Not found page like. Very good. Yes, that's a simple answer, right? We are already experienced. I'd never ask a question which is you don't know kind of stuff, right? Very simple. Page not found. Page not found. Website won't open. First of all, website won't open. If website is something is open, but it is showing page not found. 404 error. Okay. So definitely client won't get a thing. If it is a small thing, no problem. Big thing is for big problem, right? For example, uh, you know passport application, right? It is a web application. You open a passport application. You are filling. Server is disconnected. You are unable to access. You know last time something has happened. The Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. These three things are not working. The meta kind of stuff is there. No? Under what are the meta umbrella? All are stop working in a few months back. I think four or five months back only. Uh, yeah, entire Facebook, WhatsApp, not four months also. Three, four months yeah. back, only, as I remember. Suddenly it is stopped working. In a December, I think. December or January. It stopped working. It's entire overnight it is not working. Everybody uh, get a problem, right? So why it is not connecting Instagram, that too. I don't know what happened to my friend. What happened to my friend with dance videos and all kind of stuff. So people are a lot of suffer. Billions of uh, loss for a Facebook company. Max Zuckerberg uh, got a lot of problem, right? The simple thing is like that, right? So uh, that is one best example of um, in, a, in a fault tolerance load balancer. 
this kind of stuff. Simple it is. You have a server. Server's NIC is damaged. You are unable to access web page. Right. So this is what I'm trying to say. Now what is the solution? So server is good. Server side at present. Server side is good. What to do? Now what I'm going to do is. OK, what I'm trying to do is. That's a written in a blue color. OK, so I have a switch. Of course, generally we have a switches connections are there. And I inserted a more than one NIC. To my server. So one NIC problem can be occur. Like we have a ride. Three hard disk. We have one single disk failure, no problem, ride five. Similarly, almost like, like that one only, redundancy manner. I connected a four NICs. I connected four NICs to a switch. Four NICs, just for example, more than one, at least two NICs. We need a two NICs, but I put a four. So what's happened? We'll see. OK, four analysis have. Then what I've done. So each NIC, if you have an adapter, you want to communicate with that adapter, you need a IP address. You have a. Adapter and you want to communicate with that adapter. You need a each one have, must have a their own IP address. So NIC one should have an IP address. NIC two uh, IP address. IP address, IP address. You want to connect, make a connection with this NIC, communicate with that NIC. We need a IP address, right? Just for communication purpose. Four NICs, four IP addresses we are using. Again, problem. What is the problem? The client is also connected here. So client is send a request. Client send a request through this NIC one. Request go and through NIC one only you will get a reply in generally, right? So client one is always communicate with the NIC one IP address. Client is always communicate with the NIC one IP address. OK, now this NIC got a problem. Now I can't able to communicate. So you have a four NICs, but no use because the client is always using Single IP address, so then single NIC response. So obviously you won't get a. If that NIC is down, again problem. So what I'm trying to do is here. I'll make this NICs as a one single team. Okay, I'm creating NIC one, NIC two as a team. OK, team name is team number one and I assign an IP address to team not to. Not to do individual NICs. Not to do individual NICs. I create an NIC team and assign IP address to the team. Assign IP address to team. So when I trying to communicate. From client. So I will send a request. So I'll send a request. Through this IP address only. OK, I send a request through this IP address. Either NIC one or NIC two will respond to you. OK, then I will get a information. OK, through team I will get it. So I use this IP address instead of separate separate IP address. I use a team IP address. Not a NIC IP address. NIC don't have any IP address now. So two NICs combinedly become one team. OK, it is become single IP address. OK, so I will communicate with that IP address either NIC one or NIC two will respond to you. You can communicate with them. Next. If in case. One of the NIC is down. One of the NIC is down. 
what will happen if one of the NS is down what will happen no problem you have another NIC because you are not communicating with the individual IP address you are communicating with the team team is like a combination of one two or more NICs NIC teaming is combination of two or more NICs. So what is this concept? NIC teaming. What is NIC teaming? It's a combination of two or more NICs together for a creating load balancer failover. Okay. So if there is so many other things also there, also we'll see. So one of the NIC is down, no problem. Other NIC will give you communication. Okay. Next. What I have done? So NIC teaming. Or team. Okay. So if one NIC is down, no problem. Other NIC will give you communication. So I said, as I said, one or two, two or more NICs. Means either it can be a three NICs, four NICs, four a five NICs, like that. So you can also put a more NICs. The next thing is I will put a three NICs together. So I put a NIC teaming like this. Three NICs. Three NICs together. Okay. Then it is, uh, I put a team name is team2 and I will assign some IP address to it. Same thing. Why I needed two teams or a one team? or more I NICs. Multiple analysis, I can create a team. Why multiple teams are required? Guys, look at one server will give you one service or multiple services. For example, I have a monitoring system or a, a user access system is there. This is a, a just admin desktop. It's an administrator. Administrator want to access this server with a certain team, one team. Like you manage web server, upload web pages, upload web pages, right? So you need to connect with an NIC or with one team, like a team one, team two, like that. I have a multiple clients. I have a multiple clients. Like this is one client, but I have a lot of clients are there. Multiple clients want to communicate means they are also need a web pages. What they will do? So I will get tell communicate with the team IP address. I will tell web page access with a one kind of IP address. The admin access is a another kind of team access or a team IP address. OK, so for example, I have a team one in a team one two NICs are there give it for administration for user access client access team two for client access team two okay like this and other benefits also there are uh, i am unable to put everything in here okay so because of uh, space is not, not there okay so i will write here uh, some more things about a NIC teaming also. Yeah, I didn't write a much thing here. It is okay. Internal. NIC teaming. It's a combination of two or more.
ήθελα να είσαι. Αμνέσιο, αυτό είναι το αμνέσιο. It's provided. Failover. And load balancer. I will explain in this scenario what is failover and load balancer. Okay. So here it is. Okay. So combination of two or more analysis, physical analysis, is a analysis teaming. We can assign an IP address to team. I see team instead. Stuff assigning to. Individual analysis. Okay, we can assign IP address. Okay, to NIC team, not to the individual analysis. First of all, we can assign a particular service. Service access through team FA team team with an IC team IP address. So NIC team or or for failover and load balancer. Yes, if yeah, if I have a NIC on. For my server, okay. Uh, otherwise, so I have a web server with one NIC, meaning is one IP address. Lines, lines. And um, admins access server for both uh, websites and uh, management with that IP address only and MSC. Only, right? If the NIC is down or disconnected, if NIC is down or disconnected, okay, communication stops. Will stop. Communication will stop. If the NS is down or disconnected, if the NS is down or disconnected, communication will stop. So, what are the communication between this server and that server? So, this server and client, server and thing will stop. Next. Next. More clients. We a server. Okay. We a server. More load on. More load on. 
और एन अंडरस्टैंड पॉइंट मोर आई हैव टेन क्लाइंट्स आर देर ट्वेंटी क्लाइंट्स आर देर थर्टी क्लाइंट्स आर देर नंबर ऑफ क्लाइंट इंक्रीजेस मीन्स नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इंक्रीजेस number of request increases to a single server more load on your nic also load on server and as well as a load on nic load on so more clients accessing to the server are more clients okay more clients demand increases right so more clients meaning is demand increase more demand increases more load increases on the nic's and server so i have a web server with one nic one an ip address so more clients more load on a nic and as well as a server of course but important our thing is on nic more load on nic this is thing If NIC fail or a disconnected down, NIC is down, failed or down or disconnected, so communication will stop. So client cannot access web page. Meaning is client. So we taken a website web server for understanding. We taken a web server and cannot. this web page right website web page website and access website web server and stuff right this is the problem guys you know what is the problem as why i said a facebook example look at here i am the service provider i'm i'm managing a web application some application facebook and all normal social media we think as per ours because we are using freely we are not paying for it we are not advertising anything right so if in case um 100% uh, uh, kind of stuff is there for example mail communication mail server i am maintaining or a um, a website i am maintaining a job portal i am maintaining okay uh, means a application like you can apply a job in our servant is uh, through my website that's website i am maintaining just for a small thing like a more load on a server or a server is load you know 10th class results announced do you remember your 10th class result result day you go to internet center full load server is full of load yeah, any intermediate results server is full load so because number of users only thing only one single website the result website only so lakhs of people lakhs of people are accessing only single server m set result now m set is not there no neat is there so neat result only one day so today announced result is declared all over india all over the state what happened more load on the so what happen it become very slow it become very slow the best way is don't worry about your result give the hall ticket number to the internet guy give 10 rupees or 20 rupees or 50 rupees more faster you required the more you want to worry so you have to give more thanks you got it you have to give more money otherwise yeah you can see it tomorrow okay that is the best thing meanwhile you can see the newspaper so some are suicided some are happy some are sad some are get first rank some are get last rank some are fail no problem if you see tomorrow my main why parents will made up their mind so we can go for it okay yeah so what are the result it is acceptable result only because already seen the newspaper uh, stories right same thing what it is again more demand more client access more people are sending a request more demand on the 
server. So server obviously becomes slow. And I see load is high. So obviously it is slower. Now what is the solution? This is the issue. What is the solution? NIC team is a solution. How it is NIC's team is a solution. So as I said, combination of two more more NICs together and NIC. So NIC teaming is combination of For more analysis, combination of two or more physical analysis. Okay, the NIC team has IP address. Okay, the client access website with that IP address, for example. Right. Okay. If a NIC is down or failed or disconnected, and continue communication. Other NICs, in team. Other NICs in the team. It will keep communicating. Communication not stops. If an IC is down or failed or disconnected, client continue communication. Communication not stop. All NICs are down, communications down. Okay, but NIC teaming is still works. Next. This is called a failover. This part we call it as a failover. This is called what we say currently failover. What is failover? If one in failover, important is client should get service even if a server. Or server or a network if a server or a network or a disk okay anything is not working or down or disconnected kind of stuff. What is the failure importance of failure? I'm telling you about failure importance of failure. OK. What is the use of failure? Importance of failure is remember always guys. We are a infrastructure management time in infrastructure management. The important only one thing is client should get a service. Whatever it is, whether your service down, whether it's a client is down. Okay, whether 
the client server is down or network is down or disk is down whatever it is the client should get a service okay client to the service whether 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 server or network or it is the same thing only even if uh, i use a word called even if you can use whether also use a word called a whether whether or even if even if a even if the server is down network is down disk is down or whatever it is power is down client get a service that is very important guys you went to a internet center sorry you went to a atm center you insert a card no money what you will do you'll scold sometime like you know more oh, no money again i have to go to another place so again we have to go to another uh, uh, atm again big queue line again i have to wait in the line or we have to scold we have to fight we have to go to another uh, uh, atm if it is having money or no money but you have to pay yearly fees for using debit card for sms alerts yearly you have to pay amount you know that three monthly you have to pay amount for sms alerts every year you have to pay for debit card uses sometimes it is waived off by uh, internal part of bank kind of stuff sometimes it will charge on you okay you know i have a, a idba i am not using since last 2 years more than 2 years okay not much use okay because uh, when i shifted to uh, access bank i i kept idba side only it has some money every year it will give you uh, some 4% of interest on money so the money is equal to the debit so not less not more the the amount will be equal in that in that place so like that so it is happen the client should get a service whether a, a, even a service is that that is the main concept of failover okay simply say one a one server fail if one server down other server must give this this is the main concept of failover so same concept here in the fail, uh, nic teaming okay in nic teaming if one nic is down no problem other and get service from other nic so that is the nic teaming failover concept nic teaming failover concept guys yes, understand this point nic teaming and failover yes there is a names of failover is there very good so there are names of, of failover is there is high available when you say h a high available guys compulsory look at that what is high available is nothing but a failover high available network high available services 100% available Under percent uptime, zero percent downtime. How to get a hundred percent uptime, hundred percent downtime by configuring high available or high availability. This is also there, na? No? High same only high availability. Don't think it is different. Okay, all are same only. High available. or high availability
fail over okay so so we can achieve 100 percent uptime and downtime by ha high availability okay so this is called a failover then what is this load balancer what is this load balancer i will write the load balancer part again here okay i am explaining failover here again i will explain the load balancer okay nic teaming has an ip address client access website with ip address nic is down failed or disconnected no problem we can able to communicate next somewhere you have written here a load kind of stuff right more clients means more demand and so team balance load on nic in team okay so balance the load on nic okay so it reduces load on uh, in the individual analysis reduce the load on individual analysis so that is a load balancer what is a load balancer so when load increases again when demand increases uh, load increases when demand increases load increases okay by multiple Okay, so deploy multiple nodes, meaning is it can be a servers, NICs, uh, uh, concept it is like server concept actually it is, okay, nodes, meaning is servers, I will tell in a server manner, so nodes, multiple servers, create load balance and uh, Uh, store data okay. create a load balance and uh, maintain data same data in nodes okay so if load increases it distribute to all other nodes meaning is servers okay so load on single nodes is reduced individual nodes is reduced that is called a load balancer already i told in a nic teaming again i will tell in a nic teaming manner here also okay so in nic teaming client request request okay Client's request, not client request. The client's 
uh, whatever it is already we told okay so in an nic teaming the tra data transmission data transmission distribute to all other nic's in team so load on the load on single nic is reduced yeah finally Two points are completed, guys. Very important failover and load balancer. In NIC teaming, do both the load balancer and team view. I told very big story without doing any practicals. Okay. Uh, add to and uh, stand by last point. I will tell and will give you uh, break. Add to and stand by. What is act to and stand by? For example, example, I have two NICs. I have two NICs. Okay, so I have two NICs. I create a team, NIC team with that. Two NICs. Okay, NIC team with that two NICs. Okay. Now I made one NIC as add to add to other as and by. Act to NIC will do um, transmission, right? It will communicate the data transmission through only NIC one. If act to NIC fail. The standby NIC is at two and start it. So the act to NIC will do transmission, uh, do transmit the data. Do transmit the data. Okay. If act to NIC is failed, the standby NIC is act to and start transmit the data. And by NIC is yes. Don't do. Don't do anything. Means you do nothing. You do nothing. Just wait. If NIC act to NIC is failed. Stand by NAC, become active and start a data transmit. That is in the active standby statement in a failover. Okay. In failover, we use active 
understand why understand one act to one standby but usually based on the risk management we'll use number of nics also nic servers also i will take separate class about a failover and load balancer okay if possible we'll do it guys this is uh, basic things about your nic teaming and also internal switches external switches also i told again guys if you want to communicate from one virtual machine to another virtual machine internal or uh, private communication private the words are like a private host only host only these are the words uh, we use it okay internal private host only this are a internal part the external bridged bridged external these words we use it from uh, virtual machine want to communicate outside of your physical machine or a physical network with the physical network okay you want to communicate with the physical network external or bridged networks you want to communicate uh, within the uh, things like that is called a internal private uh, host only kind of networks we use it okay next one is like a, a vpn vlan these are all uh, different words i there, there is we don't worry about it okay yeah guys take a break next part i will show you uh, i i am telling same thing only so i will open this one so i have already nic thing is there first of all i will show you nic teaming then i will show you external switch internal switch private switch okay just take a 10 minutes break okay. uh, oh it is already fall 55 okay just uh, we need another 20 minutes or half an hour class is required for uh, nic uh, teaming and uh, external internal switches now it won't take much time okay only server okay so once just take a break have something come back fast afternoon i will explain about a virtual hard disk okay virtual hard disk and uh, other things then it will be your virtualization will be finished monday freshly we'll take a, a separate topic i will i will tell uh, other things okay so after break i will tell take 10 minutes break 